to be that each one. that each may receive the things done in the body. That each may receive. According to one hand. Right. So that includes saved and unsaved. In the judgment, those that are saved will be judged according to the works that they did. And rewards are going to be given out in the judgment day. It's not the same if you get saved two days before you die, yes, you're going to go to heaven. As a person who has been serving God uh, with all his heart, with all his life, for a number of years, accumulating uh, treasures in heaven. Remember that in scripture? To make treasures in heaven? Okay, in that day, the Bible says, and Jesus taught it, that even a glass of water that you gave to a prophet will be rewarded. So as you live your life from God, you are accumulate, accum, accumulating rewards which will be given to you in the day of judgment. Sinners, they are going to go to hell. But believe me, hell is going to be harder for some people than others. And the Bible says that when Judas betrayed Jesus, the scripture said that Judas went to his own place in hell. It's not the same. A person who, who dies a sinner, yes, he's going to go to hell, definitely. But what about the people who hurt and damage and uh, and destroy people? Do you think that it's the same thing, uh, the same justice for people like uh, I'm going to use this as a figure: mass murderers, uh, Hitler, uh, Castro. Uh, I could use so many of them. Uh, they have destroyed nations and destroyed uh, so many wonderful things in society to a person who never heard the gospel and uh, he was a drunkard. Okay, so both of them are going to be in hell, yes, but some are going to be suffering more than others. That's totally the word of God. So judgment is a place for rewards rewards are going to be given so it should stimulate you uh, I heard people say oh as long as I can make it that's good enough for me okay I, it makes sense to a certain degree but I believe because we are humans and we want the best for us that you are not content or satisfied just having you know, some you want the best, right? Mm -hmm. When you go to the store, they say, "What do you want?" Those are hamburger uh, things that come uh, in these bags with pictures of, of hamburger meat, and you don't know what's inside. Or you want 100% pure uh, organic beef. You want the best, don't you? So spiritually, should it be the same? Of course. All right. And I will tell you this story. The story of this uh, little lady that was in church uh, serving God and she would take care of the missionaries when they came through sewing the socks. Some of you are not familiar with this because this is beyond your grasp because you didn't live in those days, but I remember the missionaries that came through our home and uh, how much my parents did to help them out with things that you would think they're trivial. But this little sister, she took care of, you know, all the time, caring about the sick and uh, caring about sending cards. And her life was involved about helping others. So she died and went to heaven. This is not true, okay? This is just a lesson. And also a preacher died. Both of them at the same time, they get to heaven and the angel said, come with me. So 
you can see what you have here. So I took the preacher by the hand and took it by a street in heaven. And there was a little house there. This is your place in heaven. And he said, well, you know, I'm in heaven. That's great. You know, but he said, let me follow the angel with her. And they kept walking, walking, and there was a beautiful mansion. I mean, beautiful. It's your imagination. Let it go wild. <laughs> Big mansion. And they said, this is for you. I said, what? I preach for so many years, and this is what I get, and that's what you got? He said, sir, we build with what people send from down there. She did more with her good works than all the messages that he preached. You see? At the same time, I can tell you one to make you smile. Because some of you, I think you need a smile this morning. <laughs> and is the, the, the preacher that dies and the truck driver. So the preacher dies and the truck driver dies. The same story. The angel received him. And the preacher gets a small, a small building in heaven, and the truck driver gets this beautiful place. And he complains and says, "You mean that I preach for a number of years? This is what I get." And the truck driver got this. He says, "Listen, this truck driver, every time he got in that truck." Make more people get on their knees and pray, <laughs> like with all your messages. <laughs> because he was, was, right. was a, me a menace. <laughs> so, he was a he made more people pray <laughs> than all you with all your messages. <laughs> so, this is to help you to stimulate your thinking, okay? On rewards. Rewards. We have to be accountable to God. That's why there is a judgment. Because we have to give an account. We can do good things with wrong motives. And we can do things that are not so good, but we have the right motive in mind. Our intentions were well and good, but it didn't come out right. Yet we can do things perfectly, seemingly, yet our motive was to be seen or to be rewarded, or to be praised. Mm -hmm. So God takes all that into an account. That's very important for you to keep in mind. Isn't that right, Brother Alexis? You got it? Well, you can focus here. All right. What I say is that you can do good things with the wrong motives. And you can do no such good things, but your motive was good. But after this, make a mistake your with your mother was good. Now, I want to study a little bit the word responsibility. And you have heard me before in messages or in classes that I had with the, the young man on, on men's night about the word uh, responsibility. And believe me, I, I did some research on it again. Thank <laughs> you.